How do you share your photos with family and friends? Do you hand off your iPhone or iPad to be passed around from person to person? Apple has made it much easier to share your photos by inviting people to view albums you create using the iCloud photo sharing option. That's what this video is all about. Hi, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. To turn on iCloud photo sharing, you'll need to come in to the settings app and then scroll down until you see photos and over next to shared albums, toggle on that switch. Since photo sharing is an iCloud service, you'll need to be signed into your iCloud account on your device. Let's create our first shared album. Come into the Photos app, and over here in the sidebar, you want to select All Shared Albums. And then you'll tap on the plus sign in the upper left corner of the Shared Album window. Type in the name of the album. Tap Next. Here, you're going to invite the people that you would like to share this album with. And there are two ways to do it. You can just start typing in names and if the people are in your contacts list, they will appear. You can also tap on the plus sign to enter in to your contacts section and add people from there. So I'm just gonna type in right now, my best friend, and now I'm gonna tap on Create. And now we've created our first shared album. After creating the album, it's a good idea to check the settings. So you wanna open the album that you've created, and then in the upper right-hand corner, you'll wanna tap on the People icon, and here is where the settings are for this particular shared album. You can continue to invite people if you'd like. If the toggle switch is turned on next to subscribers can post, this means that anyone within this group can add photos or videos to the album. If you toggle on the switch next to public website, you will see that Apple creates an iCloud website for you to share your photos. And only people with that link will be allowed to view those photos. And below that, we have notifications. If you have to notifications turn on, anytime that someone adds an album or a video, everyone in the group will receive a notification. Now let's add some photos to our shared album. Tap anywhere outside of the settings box and tap on the plus sign inside your shared album. Now what you'll want to do is select the photos that you'd like to add to this particular album. When finished, tap Done. And here's where you'll add a little description of the, of the album. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this Gus's First Photos, and I'll tap on Post. When I do, the photos will appear in your shared album and people who subscribe to that album will be able to see those photos. You can even like or comment on a photo just like you would in Facebook or Instagram. And so all you need to do is select a photo that you want to comment on or like. And if I tap like down here in the bottom right corner, you'll see that it says one like, but it seems like the comment section went away. To add the comment section or to retrieve it, all you have to do is kind of grab the photo and slide up, type in your comment, and hit send. And now you've liked the photo and added a comment. If you want to save a photo to the Photos app on your device, all you need to do is select the image that you'd like to save, 
tap on the share icon in the upper right hand corner, scroll down until you see save image. Go ahead and tap on saved image and the image will now be saved on your device as well as in the shared iCloud album. Other subscribers will be able to save photos as well. If you want to delete a photo from the shared album, you'll open the photo and you'll come up here to the upper right corner to the trash can icon, tap on that and go ahead and tap on delete. When you remove a photo, it gets deleted from the shared album on all your devices and the subscribers devices. But the original photo will remain on your device in its original location. Maybe you want to remove a person from your shared album. To do that, you'll come into the shared album and you'll select the people icon in the upper right corner. You'll select the person that you want to remove. You'll tap remove subscriber. You'll tap remove again. This person will no longer have access to the shared album. Maybe at some point you want to delete the whole shared album. To do that, you'll come back into the shared album you created. You'll tap on the people icon up at the top right hand corner. And at the very bottom, you'll see delete shared album. You'll tap on that. You'll tap on delete, and now the album and the photos will be deleted from all of your devices and your subscribers' devices. However, you will not lose the original photos on your device. They will remain in their original location. So that's iCloud photo sharing. What's excellent about this feature is that the photos and videos in the shared album don't count against your iCloud storage limit so you don't need to worry about upgrading your iCloud storage plan. You can share up to 200 albums and each album can contain a maximum of 5,000 photos or videos. What are you waiting for? Get started using photo sharing today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.